Good day to you. My name is James. Welcome to my PE exam. And today we're going to quickly address the idea of Newton's analogs. Newton's analogs. So look, you'll be aware, I'm sure, of Newton's laws already. And if you're not, you really should go and have a look at those concepts in earlier lessons on the website. Or indeed, you might be watching this on YouTube or on Vimeo. You should have a look at Newton's laws because it's going to inform us within this particular tutorial of what we mean by Newton's analogs. And the first thing I want you to realize is that Newton's analogs basically are Newton's laws. But instead of them sort of relating to how objects move in a linear fashion, linear means in a straight line, or it could be something moves in a curve okay we're now interested in how objects rotate okay so Newton's analogs are Newton's laws of motion but related to a rotating body so let's first of all look at Newton's law one or Newton's analog one and it tells us the following it says a rotating body so it has to be a body that's rotating rotating okay think about a rotating body it can only go in two directions it can either go clockwise so it's either a clockwise rotating body or it's anti-clockwise right or if you're watching this in other parts of the world you might say counterclockwise but it's either clockwise or anti-clockwise those are the two directions that a rotating body can go so it says a rotating body will continue in a state of constant angular momentum so, in other words, the momentum will not change until an external torque acts upon it. Now, a couple of things I want to address for you from that initial definition. First of all, I want to take this concept of constant angular momentum. All right. Let's first of all put it into a practical example. This performer, I believe, is rotating in this direction, right? They're somersaulting or pike somersault in this direction. Now, we would describe that direction as anti-clockwise. We said it earlier on, right? Anti-clockwise. But what we're saying is that until an external torque acts upon the performer, they're going to continue in a state of constant angular momentum. And we call this the law of conservation, the law of conservation the law of conservation of angular momentum. In other words, until she, um, th this performer that is, until she lands on the ground or until she lands, it might be a trampoline, lands on the trampoline bed, that angular momentum is going to be continuous and constant. And we're going to come back to the concept of angular momentum in future lessons. But we're saying it's conserved. It is constant. It cannot change.